Hey folks, Vic here with your weekly video for Friday, November the 13th, 2000, Friday the 13th. Hmm. Um, first of all, if you guys haven't heard already, uh, Darko and I will be hosting a webinar that's coming up Monday, November the 16th, 3 p.m. Eastern time. There's a link in the text below this video or in the email that you received. And it's, uh, we're having it for a few reasons. First, to commemorate Darko's third anniversary of being the lead coach for our Coach's Corner Service. He's been amazing, uh, and we sure appreciate everything he's done. Uh, we also have some pretty cool stuff that we're rolling out. Um, notably, um, I'm going to be starting a, co uh, pardon me, a scalping service. Um, this is for uh, very short-term trades, and uh, I'll, I'll elaborate on that in the webinar. And then Darko, of course, is going to continue to uh, do the day trading service. And um, so we'll, and he'll be giving more information on that. I think they're going to be uh, both uh, really um, increased in popularity once you see what we have going on here. Um, and best of all, we have pricing that we're going to be offering that we have never offered before. And I think it's going to be very attractive. Um, so for today's video, uh, I have I recorded a, a live scalp trade for everybody just to give you an idea of how we do things. Um, I've also, I'll show you another scalp trade. That I didn't record them both. Uh, they were both kind of happening at the same time. And I'm going to show you a couple of Darko's day trades that happened today as well. So you get a good idea of, you know, what we do, how we do things and that. So um, with that said, let's uh, leave it at that. And I hope you enjoy these videos. Oh, and if you wouldn't mind giving a thumbs up, at, uh, we'd sure if you like the video, that is. <laughs> I hope you do. Uh, give us a thumbs up. It helps our algorithms with YouTube and increases our our channel visibility and, and so on. So we, we really appreciate that. Thanks so much, enjoy the video. Okay, so here is a, um, a little uh, scalp trade that's setting up here. Um, and uh, but this is one of the patterns we'll be looking at. It's just a simple divergence trade, but on a smaller time frame. And uh, in any event, we're coming down to this, to see this weekly level of, uh, if I zoom this out a bit, there was some support back in here, resistance here. It's just testing it again here. And while it's doing it, uh, what it's doing is uh, we see that uh, that we're, we're getting a divergence set up in here. So I have an order in to buy right down here, 75.87, and the stop loss is going to be down kind of at the bottom of this gray box here. I'll just take it out of the way for it so it's not, so there's no clutter there. And so yeah, my stop will just be underneath here. So yeah, let's uh, stand by, see if we can get a fill on this. Okay, folks, we got filled in here at uh, 75.87. Okay, so now it's, uh, we're, we're into the, and then our stops underneath here. So, so now it's all about uh, trade management. So, um, 16 pip risk in this trade. And uh, we'll start looking at these other levels as price starts to rally up in here that, that uh, makes sense from a reward to risk point of view. Uh, stay tuned. Okay, just a little uh, update on this trade. So, so we got long at, at uh, 80, 75, 87, and I want you to look at the, you know, we're, we're scalping now. This is a 15 minute chart. This is the reaction we're looking for right there. That's, that's a nice reaction. So we have this load. So what we want to do is adjust our stop now because, um, and just to, because if it goes against us now, we want to, we want to um, be out below this low here. And this, this makes a, such a big difference in your, in your account. I mean, you know, if, uh, whatever your initial risk is here as a percent, say half a percent of your account, it becomes a lot less. We go from a 16 pip risk to an 11 pip risk if we were to get stopped out below here. So just a little bit of trade management along the way. It's very, very important. So, uh, and then we'll, we'll look for these higher prices. Uh, hopefully it keeps going up. Okay, folks, a final update and I got to cap this off, but uh, I'm going to show you that uh, like you can see what's happened. We got filled down here, reacted. When here, let me bring this chart up here. When price started to react like this, you see right here the fill was at here at, at 87, 75, 87. It went up just this is perfect. It hits this little stuff in here. The stop can be moved from here up to here. So now the risk becomes only 11 pips instead of 16 pips. That's a big help. It came down just to scare you a bit, never touched the stop. Went back up. Now it's up, um, it got up uh, about over 10 pips actually. And it's Friday. It's way, like it's an hour past the London close. There's no news coming out. Um, it's there's nothing to really drive price right now. I would definitely, definitely not let this become a losing trade. You could even take some profit. My alerts up here to take a 16 pip profit if it goes up to here. And of course, obviously, this level would be awesome to see, but that's not 
very unlikely to happen today. I'll show you another one of these. Uh, it was on the Euro Oz pair today. And these are typical of the kind of um, scalp trades that I'm going to be uh, showing in the new service. And um, in this case here, on the daily chart, we were hitting support, right? Support, it goes, breaks below, it becomes resistance. We go to our 15 minute chart and we're looking for uh, one of our patterns. And here it was with the, with the price was heading higher, but the MACD was heading lower. So this is a qualified divergence trade. There was actually a sell. Uh, there was a, there was two places to sell, and depending on your level of aggressiveness, but there was a sell at 163.29 and another really really good level up at one um, 163.36 which you never know, it might not make it up that high. It happened to in this case, but you can see this level of resistance, resistance, resistance. It was a pretty good level with a stop above here. So it needed either a 20 pip risk if you sold at the lower level. And if you sold it up higher, it's only a 13 pip risk. Either way, price went down. This is made over a two to one reward risk trade, even selling at the lower number. If you sold it up at the higher number, it's now a th over three and a half to one reward risk. Pretty sweet. One more, I'm going to give Darko a little head, uh, little kudos here because this is another one that he posted. Uh, we had a loss, by the way, on the CAD yen pair today um, on, on one of these trades. But the uh, I'll just show you what the what these trades look like. Uh, this is the this is the one that Darko posted. Support, support, right? It breaks above it, so it, we have we've had a breakout. So we go down to our a one hour chart. This is what he uses a one hour chart for day trading. And it price comes down, gets filled. This is where the fill was right here at 131.23. And look where it's gone up to. This is just perfect up in here for a nice little profit. And actually, I'll just show you here. Uh, I just have it right here. Here's what he posted to the members. See this? This is the one hour chart here. He just, when price is way up here, he let people know that this is where the uh, entry would be right here with a lower low stop loss. And that is exactly what happened. There's where he posted it. It came down and shot up just like that. So there's, Two scalp trades in there. There's a uh, a trade. I'll just show you the loss that we had too, because I you know we it don't don't be afraid of losses. I mean it's part of the deal. This is a uh, the um, CAD yen support resistance. Price comes back down. It hits it. What's the reaction? Well, we go to our, our entry time frame, which is the one hour chart for day trading, and um, the reaction was in here. Uh, I might have this line not quite right, so don't worry about it. But price went up and came down. The buy was down in here, and it just it just failed. You can see it just hesitated a little bit and then just failed. So yeah, that that's just part of the you know part of trading. And I don't. I, it's important that you see losses and embrace them and and just realize that this is a probability game. So. Anyway, there are uh, a few trades for you, and um, hopefully we'll get a little more juice out of the uh, Aussie Yen scalp that I'm in here. But um, other than that, uh, uh, be sure that you, um, yeah, we hope to see you at our webinar on, on Wednesday. We'll give you a lot more information about uh, what we're doing here, and I think you'll uh, really like it. Anyway, thanks so much for listening in. Have a great weekend. See you all at the end of next week or in the webinar. Take care. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Uh, and by the way, I did end up getting my 16 pips out of the Australia yen scalp, so a one-to-one -one reward risk. You know, like with any high probability trade, you put them on and you just never know what's going to happen, right? You just got to leave them and see. And, and the thing about scalping is that we use small initial pip risk, so generally we can get some kind of a pop in price and get the risk out, giving us a free look. And of course, you can always take some profit at these opposing levels on part of your position then go for a much bigger final target. It's going to boil down to a trade management plan that suits you the best. So um, yeah, hope to see you in our webinar on Monday. Uh, again, there's a link in the text below this video or in the email that you received. Thanks again for listening. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Click that little bell when you do so that you get notified whenever we put out a new video. Have a great weekend, everyone. Take care.